Hey everybody, day seven in our navigation through the New Testament. I want to start with just a thought that uh, been, I've been wrestling with the last couple of days. I'm about ready to do another funeral for a family. And I would, mu this is going to seem odd to many people, but I would much rather do a funeral than a wedding. I, I don't mind weddings. I enjoy weddings. We just married our granddaughter last year. It was fantastic. I enjoyed some of the special moments I've had at weddings. But I would much rather do funerals only because it's the most opportunistic time for me to help people through a difficult part of their life. With a wedding, you're just a bit player. It's about the bride. With a funeral, it's about the family and it's about all of those that are mourning the loss of someone. And I share that with you because of what's going on right now. I have, again, another situation where I'm doing a funeral or grieving with a family and I'm watching a wrestling match going on in their lives and in their minds as they try to discern if their loved one is in heaven. Now, it's not for us to decide. I would share that with you every single time. God makes that decision. It's not our call. But I hate watching a family wrestle with it. <laughs> so many times when you're going through a situation like that and the person has not lived the life of a believer, lived, tried to go to church and be in the scriptures and grow in their faith, give to the kingdom, all those things that, that typical believers, followers of Jesus do. When you see that person and that family go through their loss, it's so hard to watch. You'll hear things like, well, he was a good person, or she, she loved everybody, or they, they were loved by their family. They gave to the community. They did this great accomplishment. They worked hard in their career. They accomplished so much in their life. They were fun to be around. We loved being around them. That's great. But Jesus is saying it's not by those things that you get into heaven. And in fact, that's good. I'm so grateful it's not about our works that get us into heaven. Because you'd have to be perfect, hit, hit holes in one on every shot of your life in order to get into the holiness of heaven. No, it's not by that that we get there. Those are a byproduct of the way we find salvation. We find salvation in a relationship with God. And that's what Jesus was making the point of in Matthew chapter 7. He says it's not by, not by your works or not by your titles or not by the words you use. It's by whether you and I know each other. He says, many will say to me on that day, didn't we do all these great works? Didn't we do accomplish all these great things? In verse 23, but I will look at them and tell them plainly, I never knew you. I never had a relationship with you. You never wanted to know me and to be with me. You just checked off your list the things you thought were good enough to enter heaven. And friends, that's, What's so much of a struggle at a funeral when you watch family members who want to believe, but they never saw the fruit, who want to think that you're in eternity, but they don't have evidence to back it up because they never saw a relationship between you and God. And that day will come for every one of us. And my hope and concern today, as I share this devotion with you, is that my family, my wife, my friends, all of the church around me, every person that knows me would look at me someday and say, there's no doubt. He's in heaven because he had a relationship with Jesus. I want that for you too. So today as you consider that, vo that verse, it's a profound, powerful convicting verse. It's up to us to know the will of the Father and to have a relationship with His Son. And that is what we try to do this year as we totally pursue Jesus by learning from Him in His New Testament. God bless you as you continue in that endeavor. And we look forward to continuing with you tomorrow and every day as we navigate through the New Testament together. See you then.